Hey y'all, how you doing? I want to do this little video. I want you to pray for me. Those of you that truly love God with all your heart, mind, and body, spirit, walk in the straight and narrow. The fervent prayer of, of a righteous person avails much. So that's why I want you to pray for me. Those of you who are living holy and righteous, your prayers are very, very valuable. Uh, you know, we really are living in the, in the the latter of the latter days. And uh, there's so many signs of that. They're all around. I mean, you look at this tremendous earthquake that just hit uh, Turkey and Syria last week. I just read uh, yesterday, the death toll is now like 40 something thousand people and 8.1. Uh, you look at things going on, uh, how wicked America is, and look at all the fake Christians. I, you know, the Lord showed me with what's going on with Vicky, the woman he told me to marry. And, and of course, it's been going on with her for a while, her lukewarm carnality, selfish self. But God has taught me so many things. Uh, you know, that's why the scriptures, he's, I had put on both sides of my RV about he that loves father, mother, brother, sister, son, or daughter more than me or boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife or anything, anything or anyone more, including yourself, more than God. You're not worthy to be his disciple. You're not worthy, he says. And uh, those are very powerful scriptures. The word says in the latter days, there'll be lovers of themselves. Uh, and lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, covenant breakers, you know, like marriage covenants and, 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 and stuff like that. But, you know, I've told y'all I hate going out in public now. I really, truly hate it. Okay, well, well I'm, I'm back working in Chattanooga. I'm in a warehouse working right now. And, uh, and uh, I had to go to the grocery store, okay, get a few nights worth of groceries. Out comes a very lewd woman in her, her leggings. I mean, extremely lewd, okay? You know, some leggings are lewder than others. You know, they're all lewd, okay? Slash pantyhose, okay? Some are more lewd than others, and then uh, I reckon some may squeeze into them even more. And I said to the ladies, white, woman, good looking woman, you know, you couldn't help but notice that, right? Uh, uh, and uh, I said, you should be ashamed to dress like that in public, ma'am, as you walk past me. And uh, she turned around and said, kiss my A-double-S. I said, no, thank you. I said, but you're, and then the Lord told me to really give it to her good. I said, you're dressed like a whore. That's what I told her very boldly. I said, you're dressed like a whore, okay? And uh, and uh, that Jezebel spirit was coming out in her, boy. You could see it all over. But I did what God said to do was reprove and rebuke him. Now, Satan wants you to look and take a second look and lust after him. But no, I'm not going to obey Satan. And I hope y'all don't, especially you men out there. And you know, you women... Y'all need to, you know, the Bible talks about the elderly women teaching the younger women. That's, that's gone by the wayside. I mean, you saw my video with the pastor's wife and, and, and daughter out dressed like this. Okay. You know, have you ever noticed? And I, I mean, I got to be truthful. I have to speak the truth. I don't, if I lose subscribers, that's, I, I don't want to, but that's, I don't really care it really, to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, now rowing straight is the way, and few there be that find it. A lot of you women that listen to my videos, if you, if you want to undescribe, that's between you and God. I'm just gonna speak the truth to you because I love you, okay? Uh, and uh, God loved loves His people. Read, I've been reading the scriptures back in the Old Testament a lot. Again, okay. Man, God poured His wrath out on His people that He loved. He said He loved them. Okay, he poured his wrath out on them to try to turn them around, to straighten them out. It's 
like trying to discipline your child. You don't enjoy disciplining your child, but you do it because you love them. And, uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's shocking what I see going on. You look at these, this spy balloon flying over our country and literally going all the way across the country before they shot it down. Okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, so many things going on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but we need to be ready and we need to be about the father's business. But I want y'all to pray for me because you know, it's really hard I think think about what's going on with Vicky that's left me. You know, I'm I'm a humble man. I don't want to be alone the rest of my life. I'm lonely. God didn't make man to live alone. Okay, he he he, he created Eve out of Adam's ribs. Okay. And uh and you know, uh so uh you know that's something that god told me he's going to take care of so i just have to be patient and uh ever how he ends up taking care of it but i know god loves me i don't feel that very much right now sometimes but you know bible talks about suffering for christ so you know that's something we have to do suffer for christ suffer for persecution uh and uh uh, deny yourself and count the cost. And uh, but anyway, y'all pray for me. Uh, but we need to be about the Father's business. We need to be bold and pray for boldness, not be ashamed. We need to be willing to be hated and persecuted and show true love to people. If we really believe hell is real, and the way is truly narrow and straight, as I've been reading the book of Joshua, and you know the Lord told them. And, you know, God so particularly wouldn't even let Moses go into the promised land because Moses didn't uh, strike the rock and do, do exactly like God told him to do. You know, people, you know, you, we need to read the scriptures and learn who God is. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Christ ain't some someone different than God. He's always been with God. And the Word says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was was." With God, the Word was God and made flesh and dwelt among us in in the name of Yahshua, or Jesus Christ, they call him, uh, some call him. And uh, the Son of God, the anointed one, the Messiah, the King of Kings, okay? And, uh, you know, he just came so we could be redeemed, and get forgiven for our sin. But he, he says, now that I've come, you have no excuse for your sin. And they hated him because he preached the truth. Uh, and, uh, he, you know, he said, you have to deny yourself, count the cost. Uh, he that loves father, mother, brother, sister, son, and daughter themselves, anything more than me ain't worthy to be my disciple. Uh, uh, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, he that does the will of my father. We, he said, we must abide in him. So in order to be covered in the blood, okay, of Jesus and, and to be clothed in his righteousness, and be white as snow, we have to be abiding in Jesus. That's why the Lord said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. This is something ongoing, ladies and gentlemen. Salvation is ongoing, okay? All this deception that we've been taught, I was taught growing up in a Baptist church, you, you save like past tense, okay? No, I'm not dead yet. I'm going through some of the hardest times in my life, uh, okay? Would, you know, Satan wants to say, man, won't you just, you know, God told you Vicky's your wife and she's acted so ungodly and caused you so much pain and hurt. Won't you just, uh, you know, give up on God, go to bar and, and just, just, just go, go find you some beautiful women and have sex with them. Okay? I'm not doing that. I live that life. It's a life of emptiness and vanity. I'm not doing that. I hate sin. I'm not going, uh, you know, like Jesus said, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back. Is, I'm not looking back. There ain't nothing to go back to. Sin is a life of emptiness and loneliness, and, and the end thereof is destruction, okay? And uh, so, you know, I'm going to endure these tough times, okay? This, and you know, the Lord says he will try and test people. You know, look at what he let Satan do to Job, okay? And, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, you know, Job's own wife said you should curse God and die. His friends, you know, like, like, tell him, wanted to blame him on, you know, sinning against God. 
Uh, but anyway, y'all pray for me. Uh, uh, let's, you know, pray for one another. Those of you that truly love God with everything, we need to come together. We need to be united. And, uh, uh, you know, we may have small differences, try to work them out. But if not, you know, you know what did the Lord say? You, they, you shall know you are my disciples for your love for one another. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, but y'all pray for me. I tell you, you know, I still, you know, I'm humble enough to tell you, I still ask the Lord to take me out of this world. I mean, you know, it's bad when you don't even want to go to the grocery store. You know, I need another pair of work shoes and you don't even want to go out. You know, I mean, there's so many of these women dressed so lewd, okay? And, uh, and uh, you know, I, you know, the spirit of God in me just says, you know, reprove, rebuke him. You know, but I mean, geez, you know, uh, I had the manager come out at, at, at one grocery store because a lady lied, went in there and told the manager, I told a woman she was a whore, okay? This was like a couple of weeks ago. No, I didn't tell the woman she was a whore. I told the woman she dresses like a whore, okay? Of course, she says, well, I go to church. I said, it don't matter whether you go to church, young lady, okay? There's a lot of people going to church and a lot of preachers going to hell, okay? And, uh, because they don't preach the narrow and straight path and without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. Lewdness is a sin unto death, lasciviousness. Okay? That's when you dress in a manner that causes someone that could desire your body. Okay? And, uh, but anyway, that Jezebel spirit is out there in, in so many women, it's shocking. Okay? It's, 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 it's unbelievable. It's a true sign of the time. Satan knows his time is near. Okay? Anyway, y'all pray for me, please. And, uh, and be about the Father's business. Don't be ashamed. Jesus said, if you're ashamed of me and of my words, I'll be ashamed of you. Uh, uh, and uh, get in the word, get your mind renewed. And anyway, another thing I'm praying about, I wanted to mention in this video. You know, I've seen God use me. It, no question it was the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit. Absolutely no question about it before in my life. But you know, I'm to the point, I need more of that. You know, Paul says, covet the gifts. It means earnestly desire them. And uh, I need, okay, I'm, you know, uh, I'm desperate. I'm hungry for God, for more of God, okay? Uh, uh, and there's an old saying, talk is cheap. You know, uh, was it uh, Paul and Peter or Peter and John says to the lame man, as they was going into the assembly, says, silver and gold have I none, but what I have I give by thee, rise up and walk. Well, you know, I know the Lord wouldn't necessarily go about healing people's bodies, especially in America, like he did when he first came into this world to show how powerful and, and, and all that, because there's so many people in America that claim to be Christians, okay, that's living in sin, that most of the sickness and disease that's upon them is because of sin, okay? And they think they're born again. They think they're saved, okay? So I, Jesus wouldn't do the same. You know, the Lord says this time he's coming back with eyes red like flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God. He didn't say that believe not. He said that know not God and that obey not the gospel. That's what it says in the word. So he's coming back and he's coming back uh, 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 very angry. That's what the word of God says, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And you look at the sign of the time, you look at these spy balloons, you look at America, you read the scriptures and learn the scriptures. God will use evil, okay? He uses evil all the time to bring his judgment and his wrath upon sin. And, and, and you look at America, the most hypocritical nation on the planet, okay? Uh, and that, I, that's 100%, y'all, okay? And uh, so many false churches, you know, we read in the scriptures where, what is it, Ananias and Sapphira, I think it was, or they lied about the cost of selling the land, and, and God struck them dead right there because they lied about that. You know, I'm saying, Lord, bring your holy judgment upon all these false preachers, okay, in this country. There's so many of them, all these false churches, Lord. And I pray, Lord, you know, somehow with the power of your spirit, get me in some of these churches. Cause these people in these churches to 
kick those preachers out, uh, uh, realizing they're being deceived and seduced, okay? And uh, not told the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The way's narrow and straight and feel to be to find it. Anyway, I need God to use me more. I need God to, to be powerful in my life, okay? And, uh, and show himself to be mighty and strong. You know, the word of God says, uh, the Lord will show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is perfect towards him, okay? And, uh, but I need more of God in my life. I need the power of God, the Holy Spirit. You know, I read a book by Smith Wigglesworth, which I don't have the book anymore. Unfortunately, I left a lot of books in my home that I didn't want to have room for, didn't want to deal with. Uh, so I reckon Vicki uh, has them or she threw them away. Who, who knows? Only God, her and God knows, I suppose. But Smith Wigglesworth, the power of God was so strong in his life. I remember I read in one of the chapters in his book where he went, got on a bus and, and several people said, you convict me of my sins. Well, it reminds me of that lady I ran across coming out of the, the uh, food city today. Uh, uh, and I've seen that. I've noticed that. You know, I've noticed people, they don't want to be around me if they're wicked and ungodly. They don't like it. It's like they feel that spirit of God. If they got demons in them, especially, okay, they don't want to be around you. If, if they got demons in them and, and, and the more evil they are, they can sense the Holy Spirit in you. It's like those demons crying out, to, uh, knowing Jesus was the Son of God, who he was uh, when he was on the earth. And, uh, and they cried out, uh, and Jesus cast them out of the man into the swine, and they drowned themselves. But that's just where I want to be, y'all. I want to be strong and powerful in the Lord, not just talk. Okay? I want the Holy Spirit to back it all up. Okay? And, uh, and uh, we're getting in those days where God's going to use his few uh his few elect uh, people walking the straight and narrow, and he's going to use them mightily, okay? And, uh, and, uh, but we're also going to be persecuted. We need to be ready for that. We're going to be hated like Jesus said, okay? And we just have to deal with that, okay? God is greater than that. He can help us deal with that, okay? And, uh, but anyway, I love y'all. Pray for me, please. Uh, it's a real battle out there. It's real evil out there. This is a real war we're in, ladies and gentlemen. And we're getting near the end of this war. Okay? Satan is time is near. Okay? And uh being cast into that bottomless pit, the lake of fire. Well, well actually the bottomless pit. Uh but anyway, uh the Lord says he'll spew the lukewarm out of his mouth to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is eternal life and peace. So we need to be we need to be spiritually minded, ladies and gentlemen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. But whosoever does the will of God shall live forever. Uh, uh, be you doers of the word, not hearers only, lest you deceive your own self. Okay. Uh, uh, to be a friend of the world is to be an enemy of God. Uh, come out of the world and be ye separate, says the Lord, and I shall be a father to you and you shall be my sons. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, for if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So God is holy, ladies and gentlemen. He's holy. And we, need to be, we need to be ready. And we need to try to reach out to those others in true love and try to get them ready, warn them. That's, that's, God loves us. He loves us, cares about us, and he warns people, okay? And uh, y'all take care. Take care. Thank you for your prayer.